top 10 UK universities that do not require IELTS. In the last video, I recommended for you five solid ways to avoid the IELTS wahala. In case you are new to this, IELTS is the International English Language Testing System. This is a standard framework they put together to test your understanding of the English language. The problem with it is that it costs you about 83,000 Naira to go through it. If you're from India, you need about 15,500 rupees, which is pretty much $200. Lots of money, lots of stress, and you can actually avoid it. You want to follow the five ways I recommended here and combine it with the content in this video in which I'll be recommending to you 10 plus some extra bonus of universities that wouldn't even stress you with the IELTS at all because they've put together some alternatives. Remember, this is your number one YouTube channel where you get top quality information and content regarding fellowships, scholarships, ships, and experiences that help you discover Africa abroad. My name is MDT Amiyu and welcome to my YouTube channel. In case you are a returning subscriber and you've been here before, I love you so much. Welcome back. As you're preparing to move abroad for your studies, remember to think about your accommodation. It can be really stressful and that is why AMBA students got you. They prepare for you secured, quality and guaranteed accommodation even before you leave your home country. And the most beautiful part is, in case anything goes wrong with your admission or your visa and you eventually don't get to travel, they give you 100% of your money back. So it's 100% risk-free. Why not start now by booking with the link in the description. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let's get to business. I'm on my own, broken alone. I feel the rain crashing down. All around this empty town, we're searching for the lost and found. But you don't care, you're unaware. Keep moving like the scars aren't even there. Just a quick recap there are like five major ways universities may choose to test your. English language understanding without the IELTS. In case the university don't already have it, you actually can propose any of those ways and they should be able to listen to you. However, the universities I want to mention have taken it upon themselves to actually already offer you those alternatives. So you don't need to stress or beg or make a proposal. The ways, the alternatives are already there. The first university on our list is the University of West London. University of West London, they have a pre-sessional course that you can apply to and you skip the IELTS like that. When you get there, you take the pre-sessional course alongside the early part of your study and with your pass mark in the pre-sessional course, you would be able to join your main course. And that's pretty simple. Takes you away from the while of IELTS, get your admission, offer, quick, and sharp. The second university on my list is the University of Bedfordshire. The University of Bedfordshire actually accepts your secondary school pass mark. In fact, they accept YEC, the West African Examination Council, and you only need a C6 in English. So if you already have C6, save yourself the money, save yourself the stress, and choose University of Bedfordshire. They will take it from you. All you need to present is your YX certificate and you are good. The third university is Bournemouth University. Bournemouth University is special because this is the second time I'm mentioning them on this channel. They have a pre-sessional course that you can key into. You take that course at the early stage of your course and once you're past it, it will prove to them that you actually understand English. Then you begin the main part of your course that you're about to study and boom, you have IELTS behind you. The fourth university on my list is the University of Chester. University of Chester is so beautiful that they actually do not stress you with IELTS at all. They accept your YAC result as it is, but make sure you have English cleared. A minimum of C6 or above will just do for University of Chester. So why do you want to stress yourself with those universities that make it compulsory for you to actually write IELTS? The fifth university of my list is the University of East Anglia. In the University of East Anglia, for a lot of their courses, if you have taken a course before from somewhere that's an English course, they accept your pass mark from those standard English courses as alternatives to the IELTS. The beautiful part is they also accept dual 
Duolingo. The University of East Anglia accepts Duolingo. So Duolingo is a language learning app where you can learn lots and lots of world languages. I'm learning French and Mandarin on Duolingo. It's actually free for starters and you can download it on your Google Play Store or your Apple App Store. Duolingo has this English language testing service that costs about $49, which is super cheaper super more convenient than the IELTS. If you take the Duolingo test, which you actually can do with your computer and turn on your camera, you are able to use it for admission at the University of East Anglia. How sweet is that? The sixth university of my list is the University of Westminster. University of Westminster actually have a processional course that you can opt in for, take that course, and then begin your main study. Plus, they also accept Duolingo. A lot of universities are beginning to look the Duolingo way because it's easier for students and it makes admission process faster. The seventh university of my list is Coventry University. This is the second time I'm mentioning Coventry on this channel. Now, for admissions at Coventry, as long as you have a C6 in your YEC English, you're good to go for an admission offer at Coventry University. Why not look the Coventry way? Why stress it yourself? Because with your C6, your admission will be offered straightforward. The eighth university of my list is Postman University and this university has taken it to another level. They accept Y, they accept NECO, and they also accept Duolingo. So three beautiful, easy options outside of the IELTS. If you are using your NECO or Y, they require you to provide a scratch card so that they will be able to validate the result that you submit. That's it. C6 in your YEC or C6 in your NECO and you are good to go. Postmark University, you want to check them out. The ninth university on my list is Northumbria University. They actually have a processional course waiting for you. You can opt for that. You key into it. Once you're done, you begin your main course and you are good. Hi LTS, behind me, behind me. The tenth but not the least university on my list is the University of Bolton. If you actually had your previous education taught in English and you can prove it, they accept that from you. They also accept your YEC or NECO. You provide a scratch card to confirm it and you're good to go. For the medium of education that was taught in English, you would need an academic letter from that institution directly to the University of Bolton and you'll be good. I'll be honest with you, there are so many other universities in the UK that accept alternatives to IELTS and they include London South Bank University, University of Aston, University of Essex, University of Plymouth, there's so many of them. I'll put a full list in the description so you check them all out. The main thing is make sure you look at these universities first to avoid your stress of IELTS before you look at the ones that make it compulsory compulsory. Okay. Do not forget that you can reach out to me to clarify your jackpotship journey or to fine tune something on your way to getting that scholarship or fellowship. I'll be here waiting to help you. I also help with CV remake and CV upgrade to get you the actual job that you're looking for. If you're looking to rework your motivation letter before you push it off to that university, I can always support you with that. In case you're thinking, how would you go about student accommodation now that you're planning to move to the UK or to Australia or to Canada or to US for your education? Amber student got you. Use the link in the description to start booking your accommodation ahead. Ladies and gentlemen, that's it from me. Until I see you in the next video, I'll catch you later. You have a right to be motivated. I'm on my own, broken alone. I feel the rain crashing down. All around this empty town. I'm searching for the lost and found.